passenger side. Access is a door that accesses the propane tanks. Ran the fuel line up and over. It's the fuel pump. We got it primed. And this is the first firing of it. This is the exhaust coming out this side. This is the air intake for the combustion. Waiting for more duct, duct work to be delivered. This is where it's coming out at. And it is nice and warm. And dry. Ooh, it's nice and warm. So that's going to go up through the floor and into the bus. Crawl out here. This is where the heater is mounted. Boy, you can barely hear it running. Um, air comes in here. There's a heat exchange here in the middle. And then goes out the duct. So once I get the duct work, it'll be into the bus and I should have nice warm dry heat all winter and uh, I'll go ahead and seal up these holes and everything but I think she's gonna work good uh, that's <laughs> white lithium grease I sprayed some on there because it was a uh, the fan inside was making noise and I didn't realize there was a little plastic piece touching it but it's got grease on it but I think it's gonna work good it's it's working real good I'm gonna go inside and see how much I can hear it but I doubt I'll hear this hardly at all. Here's the access for the fuel. Um, the fuel tank for the bus is up here on this side too. Obviously these are my onboard propane tanks. And uh, so I liked the idea of having all the fuel in one spot and it's away from where heat sources although I'm not really worried about diesel but anyhow this seemed like a good place it's a little bit tight getting filling it with the fuel can but it works I think it'll be just fine so it should work out good now I'm inside um, I mounted the control panel here Um, next to my regular thermostat and my monitoring system here. Um, I can faintly hear the fuel pump clicking. I don't hear the fan at all. Now, I'm sure I will hear a little bit of wind noise, at least, but... I've got, like I said, I've got some more duct work on the way. Um, this is getting a grate over the heater here. And then I've got a, another one of these on the way. So I'm gonna have one pointing forward and one pointing towards the rear of the bus. And uh, we'll see how that does for now. I may add duct work to add a duct all the way to the back of the bus or whatever later down the road. But I'm gonna start with these first, so. When those come in tomorrow, I'll have to drill a hole in the butt, in the floor, a three inch hole. And uh, like I said, around the ducting in here, I've got a Y that's gonna split it into these two. And uh, we'll see how it works. I'm pretty excited. But I was thinking, I was thinking this wasn't a thermostat control. I, Thought it was just on and off but it looks like it has thermostat so that'll be awesome um, if that's the case so we'll see once i get the ducting in and get it going and see how well she works okay i'm uh in the bus i just got done running the duct work so i've got one vent pointing kind of towards the front and one towards the back and I've got the heater running. 
It's actually not very cold out, so I'm just doing a test run, but yep, nice dry heat coming out. Nice and warm. I put this grate here covering all that up so it tidies it up real nice. This is under my kitchen sink. It's looking real nice. And uh, we'll see how the heat flow goes to the back. I'll probably run a fan like I do with the wood stove. Um, but it seems to be working really good. Is it 73 in here, I think? As I increase the temp, I can hear it. Fan increasing. So I can hear some, I can hear the air and the kind of the echo from the fan. But any heater is gonna make that noise. I cannot hear the fuel pump at all right now. It is raining, so but I think it's gonna be nice and quiet. And boy, is that warm air coming out. I would venture to say that's gonna work a lot better than the propane furnace. I can tell already. Oh, it's gonna be nice. So, I think uh, we're in good working order here. Looks like 46 is as low as it'll go. As soon as I started turning that temp down, I heard the motor kick down. But I think it's going to work really good. So, that's the diesel heater installed in my schoolie. Here's the remote it came with. Um, but just like I showed you before, I I took a Y and uh, split the duct in and connected it to each one of these. Um, drilled, a, drilled a hole through the floor, ran the duct in from the heater. So it's working really good. And uh, so that's my uh, Chinese diesel heater in the schoolie. So, all right, well, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, follow me for more adventures and schooly stuff and homesteading and vlogging and all that stuff and adventures. So, thanks for watching. Bye.